What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Casual Aquatics. Today I'm going to turn this tank into a leaf litter tank. Now some of y'all, some of y'all might think it would be an eyesore or ask why I would want to turn my tank into a leaf litter tank. Well I'm going to give you a few reasons, examples why. Firstly if you go to any pond, lake, river, stream, creek, you're going to find leaf, leaf, leaf litter in those waterways. It's all part of the ecosystem to complete it. Leaf litter falls off of trees and falls into the water and it, the bacteria start breaking it down, eating it. And then it will start in turn to create a fungus which becomes food for little bugs and stuff like that. And then from there, you know, that creates a source of bugs. Not to mention trees with their branches in the water actually pull that nutrients out of the substrate from the broken down leaf litter, but it will create bugs in the natural environment and which will then in turn create fish coming to to eat it and then you know the small fish eats the little fish the big fish eats the little fish or the little little fish so it's all part of the ecosystem as far as in your home aquarium though your fish obviously your smaller fish your plecos stuff like that will also eat on some of the leaf litter so I got my bag here of leaves, oak, maple. You just want to make sure you stay away from vines, ivies, you know, poison, stuff like that. Um, pines, some pines, if there's sap in it, it can leak a toxin and it's actually not good for your fish per se. But as long as you stick to your common trees that are around your house you can grab those leaves we'll see a clip of me collecting these so as you can see i'm collecting these out of my yard you can buy kappa leaves but to fill the whole tank it would be quite costly and i'm always about do it yourself save some money so, as long as you have some oak or maple or ash or whatever cottonwood trees in your yard, you can collect the dry dead leaves that have dropped and you save money. And if you don't have enough for what you're working on, well, you can always get more instead of, oh, I gotta go to a store and buy these capo or order online and then go through the process of waiting for them. Alright everybody, let's go ahead and add these to the tank. There ain't no rhyme or reason. If you want to be particular and level your bed once you get them all dumped in there, of course you can reach in or take a tool, what have you, and even them out. I'm just going to go for random. The fish and the movement of the water is going to move them around anyhow and let them just fall in their own little natural look. You can uh, push some of these down. It might take a little while for some of them to sink, but trust me, they will eventually sink. Your fish might not be super happy with you at first, but once everything starts sinking and settling down, it will all come together.
Makes this tank look so much darker because the light ain't getting down there. So I have a little bit left in that bag, but I got another tank downstairs that I want to put some in. But I just wanted to show you this up on top. It's literally just like a floating bed of leaves. I need to top off this tank, so when I add water, that's probably going to help sink it. But that's the ultimate go goal. Once these sink, it will look really good in there. And I might attempt to try to sneak some plants in there. These large cichlids, they just do not like plants for the life of me. They just like to rip them up. So this is the next morning. Um, most of the leaves have fallen. Um, there's still a few uh, stubborn ones that are floating at the top. You can see how it's all just kind of took its place. Um, I've noticed already all of my fish are more active like even Mr. Raphael there he usually is hiding all the time and I think he really likes this leaf cover my Sidnodonis catfish same thing I've seen him out and about a whole lot more because he can actually hide and weave in and throughout all of these leaves so it does look like a big old just pile, which I'm okay with. Uh, I might spread this out more level towards the back. Like I said, I still got uh, a few stubborn leaves up top that haven't fell yet. You can see the pleco loves it. So yeah, a leaf litter tank is perfectly okay. For substrate, it's natural. You might find that your fish <clears throat> perk up and come around. They enjoy it. They feel more safer and secure. Um, as time goes on, I'm going to try to throw some live plants in there and see if I can't get some roots down in nice and strong without them noticing. So maybe it will be able to stand a chance at actually growing but this is my leaf litter tank i hope you guys learned something i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i gave you guys some ideas for your own tanks thank you very much for watching